all this filament, an empty printer, let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. So this week's print comes from subscriber Julian Cabanzo. He asked me to print this design from Steve Weber 314. It's a butter press. Now I wasn't going to print the whole thing to start. I wanted to print this center section first because I knew this would be the difficult part. So I brought it into Tinkercad and then I split it in half using just a block that I turned into a hole and then grouped it all together. This allows me to see the center of this thing. And you can see that it's supposed to pivot here on the end and also in the center where the corkscrew goes through the center. Now both of these have a very fine gap and I'm wondering if this is even going to work. But we'll try it. I'll print it at a point two, and I'll print with supports. So I brought the original file into XYZWare. I chose supports and I also clicked auto repair. Sometimes this helps. I chose a 25% fill, a 0.2 layer height, and a low support density. Then I sliced it and sent it to my printer. Okay, so the print is done. Let's see how it looks. To take it off, So it stuck down pretty good because I used the raft. And right away I see a problem. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the file, but it's got a it's got a ledge on it where it should be just threaded. It's got this flat ledge. I'm gonna go back and look at the file. I I believe that's the slicer. Wow. That's that is bad. That is really bad. So here's the STL file loaded into XYZWare and you can clearly see the corkscrew. But when you look at the finished sliced product, now you can see the ledge. It's right here along the right through the middle of it. So let me go back and take the supports off and see how bad this is. So I'm going to break this off. Break all that support off. coming off pretty easy. The, the knob looks good except it's got that same flat space. Overall this print looks pretty good if it wasn't for that. But th I don't think there's any way this thing's going to turn. You have to get out the old players again. Pull that stuff out of there. Boy, this has just really got it messed up. Here's the part I'm really curious about, if this will spin. I'm going to have to wiggle this and break this loose. This is the part I just, I have my doubts. Wow, it doesn't want to move. And this certainly isn't going to gonna move. Wow, this is not budging. Okay, so I got a vice grip. That can hold this part. Like that. And I'll use these channel locks. To grip this part. See if I can get this to twist. Nope. It's starting to split. The gaps are just too tight. Uh, I just 
<coughs> it all fused together. Epic fail. Well, I think part of it is just the slicer. The slicer is just not slicing files right. So, sorry, that's a bad one. But I'm not going to leave you with that. I actually have a second print for Filament Friday I want to show you. So here's the second print by user Replicate on Thingiverse. It's a Nexus 7 stand, but we use it for an iPad. An iPad mini to be exact. I built one for my wife, and now she wants another one. So I'm going to print that. Okay, so the iPad stand is done. I call it an iPad stand, even though it's for a Nexus. And right away I noticed the, I did this at point four. I'm getting splitting, I'm getting separation. And that's from the ABS cooling and pulling away from itself. And that's, that's pretty typical if you print at point four, but it's still pretty strong for what I'm, what I'm doing with it holding an iPad. And it works really well for that. Holds it well. Nice back support. So other than this saying Nexus 7, it's an iPad stand. And it's really handy. You can go either way. You know if you want to read portrait or landscape. So this is definitely a recommended print and I'll put this one in the comments below the, the Thingiverse link. So if you want, guys want to print this one, I printed this in a new color, and let's see what's it called? Purpurin, P-U-R, P-U-R-I-N. So I guess it's a form of purple, but it looks more pink, and she liked that color. So this will definitely be my wife's stand. She's got another one in purple, so she wants one at her desk and then one by the nightstand in the bedroom so she can just move it from stand to stand now it's light enough she could have taken the whole thing but she wanted one at both locations so if I can make the wife happy with a 3D print I'm in so there you go we got a failure which I already threw out because it peed me off so I got a failure and success on filament Friday so if you like this show, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. So I'll see you next time.